and today I'm going to show you how to plot rasterized maps using PBGS and my maps Google to plot the rasterized maps first go to PBGS website this is the PBGS website and this is the uh, maps uh, you can see in the PBGS website uh, I am going to show you a case study by plotting a uh, map of Odisha so first zoom into the map of Odisha see in this map uh, first you need to found the maximum and minimum latitude and longitude of the area here in this map of Odisha uh, this position is the maximum latitude because above this position there is no uh, area of Odisha to be found so uh, you can note the latitude value from here and longitude value part here so this is the maximum latitude uh, you, you can take note of this value then uh, this is uh, the maximum value of longitude uh, you can note this value also Similarly, uh, this position is the minimum value of uh, latitude. Uh, sorry, this one is the minimum value of latitude and this one is the minimum value of longitude. You can uh, also note these values. So after doing that, uh, you can use any rough sheets or you can uh, five to find you have to find a blank map of Odisha first uh, here the x1 and uh, y1 sorry x1 and uh, y1 uh, is uh, uh, the maximum value of latitude and uh, longitude respectively and similarly x2 and y2 are minimum value of latitude and longitude so uh, first uh, design a box by using those coordinates such a way that this uh, rectangular box contains the whole region of Odisha then divide uh, this uh, whole region of Odisha into m cross n square grids uh, like this however it is shown here so uh, here you can find out the increment and decrement of each square by using this formula shown here uh you can see uh, uh you can see that this box can be divided into number of rows and columns i have divided this uh, box uh, square grids into uh, number of rows and columns according to the lines presented in each grid so there are uh, actually n plus 1 uh, lines because we have divided into n plus n division so if n square boxes are there so line should be presented n plus 1 and here uh, line should be presented uh, n pl m plus 1 after that uh, we need to translate the coordinate position from this position to the mid position of each, each square uh, to this to do this first we need to translate each uh, upper maximum value of latitude and longitude coordinates into the this mid position of uh, each upper and lower co corner of latitude and longitude uh, you can do this by using this formula uh, new latitude is uh, x1 dash and new longitude is uh, y dash so latitude previous latitude you can take at x and longitude as y maximum and minimum is uh, uh, 2 and 1 respectively so you can uh, by using this formula you can actually calculate all these coordinate no need to calculate all these coordinate first first you need to calculate the corner coordinate first so after calculating the corner coordinates uh, you found the uh, mid maximum mid position of each block is not each block only the co corner blocks so then divided each corner uh, this uh, new uh, rectangular into similarly uh, you can divide this each rectangular into rows and columns like this so near this one uh, squ square block is a row one column one the second one is row one column two like this you can divide every uh, square block into rows and columns then you can also 
select all those coordinates that is uh, closer uh, means not to be insider but uh, some maximum part of the odisha should be falling uh, in the in the uh, square block so you can select the all those uh, points that is falling inside the zone of odisha um next by using this formula you can calculate all these coordinates that is inside the uh, zone of odisha so after that uh, you eradicate uh, all those uh, other uh, um, other those coordinates and the map should be look maps should look, look like this take a reading of those coordinates uh, like latitude and longitude and you can record those coordinates in excel file uh, there are actually i have done 50 cross 50 division of the map and i have got around 1195 uh, coordinate values i have recorded it after recording all the coordinates you can go to the pbgs website and put the coordinate acha latitude and longitude the cursor should go to that position then uh, you can set whatever you want here free standing or building it integrated whatever the tilt angle you can add also any tracking option then you can calculate the pb uh, estimation here this is the pb estimation uh, you similar like this you have to manually uh, record the pb estimation for each coordinate position so after recording the coordinate position sorry so this should look something like this so next uh, step is to after creating the database next step is to use my maps google to plot the map to plot the maps first go to the my map google home page uh, then select create new maps uh, it will take you to a untitled map page so this is the my map google uh, here we will plot the map first import the database from excel file first select the excel file upload it upload it uh, into the uh, my maps google mm, first select uh, the latitude and longitude you have to check this here Uh, this uh, bracketed uh, latitude value should be equal to your latitude position and longitude value should be equal to your longitude position then select continue then select the data you need to plot then select finish uh, all the maps in my maps google uh, will be saved in uh, uh, google drive so you can find uh, your save work in google drive you have to wait some times uh so we have successfully uploaded all the data now we need to create uh, a style so we have to present it uh, like a map so first select style data by pv select uh here uh you can select the ranges uh i have selected the color pattern of seven colors you can change the ranges as 8 uh, or 12 so next step is only to convert 
the shape into rectangular here actually uh, you can manually select any color you want suppose I select uh, yellow color here so the blocks will change into yellow Now our map is ready. This is the legend of the map and this is our required map.